Okay. Hi, I'm Joe from Electric Hospital, and we're going to show you the Baby Lock Jazz 2 and the Grace Quilting Cutie Frame. So first, we're going to show you how to wind a bobbin here. We'll put our spool of thread on, and it has a really nice uh, visual description here of how you do it. I like to come off the bottom of that. And then we come back over here, around that little check spring, and then we stick it through the hole, and then we push the pedal. I like to hold that thread tail until it cuts it off. So then after you're done with that, we're going to thread the machine. And we're going to come over here, and the, everything is numbered. So that's number one, two, three. Catch the take up lever is four. There's a little spot down here is five. Make sure your needle is up at the top. So when the needle is up at the top, we can push this lever here and that needle threader will go around and poke a little wire through the eye of the needle and then we will pull that up. Now we're going to put a put the bobbin inside the machine which I wound previously. Oh, shoot. And we just kind of pull this over. You want to put this in there such that it comes off on the side, goes through that slot. And I'm going to pull that bobbin thread up. So I'm turning the hand wheel and pulling that bobbin thread up so that we, we're going to have it on top of that needle plate. And we'll put our bobbin cover, five plate cover back on, and put our quilt back on. So you only have to do this a couple times during the quilt, so it's not a big deal. And then we will catch our quilt, roll it up with the lots of extra thread there we're going to trim. So now we're ready to quilt, and I'm going to sit down here, and we want to make sure our pressure foot is down, because if you don't have the pressure foot down, it'll make big knots. And then we are uh, going to pull up our bobbin thread, and then I move it out of the way, and I catch that thread, and pull it up to the top. So now we're quilting. And if you stop it with your needle down, it makes it easy when you want to trim your threads, so you don't lose your place. So I want to show you what we have down here. What we have done to make this work better is we have put an extension cable. This is a monaural plug. We put an extension cable on the cord that's six feet long so that we can go all the way across the machine. And then on our foot control, we put this precise pedal power. And the idea behind this is you can limit, you can set your favorite speed by pushing this down. And so when this uh, touches the leg, that's my favorite speed. If I want to go slower, I can. If I want to go fast, I can rock my foot. So we'll show you that as I'm doing it here. So, there's a real comfortable speed for me. Now, if I want to go slower, I can. If I want to go faster, I can. But my, my favorite speed is right there. So, that's the Jazz 
two on the cutie frame. This is a tabletop frame. And what that means is there's no legs on it. Those legs are an option. And you just set this on top of your table here. And you can see we have shimmed it trying to make the table, since the floor is not level, shimmed it on the table. You adjust the height such that you can get your hand underneath this uh, quilt right there. And so that's the Jazz 2. And let's come over here and take a look at some other machines while we're talking about uh, options. So this is the Unique 15 Pro, and it's on the Q-Zone hoop frame, which is a foot longer and has legs. And this has a lot more height in here, so it's easier to wrap a quilt up. And it also can be done <coughs> stitch regulated, so as we, as we sew this, our stitch the same length. The faster I go, the faster the, the machine runs. And then you can also put a 19 inch on here. This is a 19 inch with a robot. And the robot is cool because you can create these beautiful designs. You can do edge to edge quilting automatically with the computer. And then over here we have a 21, which also can be computerized or you can do it with stitch regulating. And then over this is the Regent, which is a sit-down with stitch regulation that's done with little optical encoders there. So we, and we would be remiss if we didn't show you our big one, the Regalia. Uh, this is Baby Lock's top of the line uh, quilting machine on a nice frame, also has the idler rail so that you don't have to, as the quilt fills up back here, you don't have to raise that bar. And this one's a Galant, or Gallant, and it's uh, stitch regulated on an eight foot frame with the idler rail. Also has that stitch regulation so that we can... And it also can be expanded. And it can also be done on a 10-foot frame as well. So that's what we love doing with some of the quilting machines.